So you spoke about how some Christians have caused a sort of rift between, um, like, in the idea of, of minorities being able to be included in the faith. And I, I wanted to ask you, how do you think that we could seek to improve um, these bonds and, and include minorities so that they don't feel left out or excluded in some way? Absolutely. Um, there are a bajillion different ways and a lot of different opinions on how to go about it. For me, everything comes down to relationship. So if we are going to mend some of those bridges, if we're going to reach out to different communities, no one's going to know that you care about them until you say it. Uh, me saying it from a pulpit, me saying it in some seminar isn't going to do anything until they see it lived out, uh, which is really the character of Christ. He lived it. He didn't say it. Uh, in fact, I did a study this morning on the word grace, um, and we talked about how the word grace isn't used in Matthew and Mark. Why? Because he lived it. And so when it comes to building those bridges, specifically the one that's really heavy on my heart, is the homosexual community and the sexual identity uh, stuff that's kind of going around right now. It's more important for me to go love someone and introduce them to love and uh, to show them that they matter than it is for me to tell them if they're right or wrong. And different Christians have different perspectives on what is right, what is wrong. And it's not fair for the few to define for the rest of the world. So really it comes down to knocking on doors, saying hi to people, getting in conversations, and asking questions. I'm a big advocate for asking questions. Um, and then I just want to ask you, um, like, why do you think events like this are important, interfaith talks and, and speaking like among and, and between different faiths? Like, why is that important to you? <laughs> uh, I actually have a saying in my youth group. It's uh, breeding dumb Christians breeds dumb Christianity. Uh, so if you don't know your own faith and if you don't know the faiths around you, uh, you're kind of doing your own growth a disservice. So by hearing what's actually out there, you actually get to be firmer in who you are and what you understand. And now it's not as threatening uh, to approach someone in the Islamic faith to say, hey, listen, we have some similarities. Let's talk. Let's, let's get the ball rolling on what we can do together because we have some similar goals, which is to bring good into the world, to bring joy into the world. And so things like this help open up conversations for growth. And I think that's in the modern culture, uh, that's going to do a lot of the change, is that relationship again. So building those bridges.